What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. This video is about boundary layer and skin friction. In this video, you will learn what is boundary layer, how rate of momentum transfer affects the boundary layer, what is the skin friction coefficient and why laminar flow is preferred for reducing the drag. So without spending much time, let's start now. So starting with the case where we have a flat plate which is moving with the velocity v in x direction and the fluid is stationary on it. Here at time t equals to 0 and x equals to 0, all the fluid particles will align like this in the straight line. Now as the plate moves forward at time t equals to t1, the bottom most layer will stick to the plate due to no slip condition and there will be a relative motion between all the layers above it because of which there will be a formation of velocity profile like this. Now at time t equals to t2, the bottom fluid particle will move forward and we will get a velocity profile like this. Similarly, the velocity profile will continuously form like this as we move forward in the x direction. Now at each velocity profile, we will get a point where the velocity will be equal to the 1% of the plate velocity and the locus of all these points is called the boundary layer. The distance of these points from the plate is called the boundary layer thickness. The same boundary layer formation happens when the plate is stationary and the fluid is moving with the free stream velocity v infinite. We can also consider boundary layer as a layer outside which there are no viscous and shear forces but inside there will be viscous forces. Now here you will notice that boundary layer thickness goes on increasing as we move forward in x direction. This happens due to diffusion of momentum. As the plate moves forward, the momentum of the moving particles relative to each other transfers in y direction and the boundary layer thickness keeps on increasing. This boundary layer thickness is directly proportional to the square root of distance x. Here it was the case of a flat plate, but same thing happens with a car. The thickness of the boundary layer can be few millimeter thick in the front of the car and can be several centimeter thick towards the back of the car. Now the boundary layer can be laminar or turbulent. As you move forward in x direction, the value of the local distance l or the characteristic length increases. That means the value of the Raynaud number increases which makes the flow to get converted from turbulent to laminar. The Reynolds number value at which this transition takes place is called critical Reynolds number. We know Reynolds number is the ratio of inertia force and viscous force. So at low value of Reynolds number, viscous forces are very high which will make the flow to laminar in the starting of the boundary layer. Now as we move forward in x direction, the value of Reynolds number increases. That means the inertia force will dominate and we will get an unstable flow with fluctuating velocity and turbulence. As the velocity in this region fluctuate due to turbulence, the rate of momentum transfer between the surface and the free stream will increase and this will lead to the faster growth of boundary layer with the increased value of skin friction. This happens because as turbulence increases, momentum loss also increases and we know that net force on the surface is given by rate of change of momentum. So as momentum loss increases with turbulence, the value of force on the surface increases that means drag increases or skin friction increases. Now this can be applied to vehicle surface also. At the back of the car where we get a thicker boundary layer with turbulent flow, the momentum loss there increases and this will increase the value of skin friction or vehicle drag. The skin friction here is defined with the skin friction coefficient which is a non-dimensional number that indicates the friction between the vehicle surface and the air. It is given by Cf equals to tau divided by half rho multiplied by v infinite square. Now as the air speed increases, the boundary layer thickness decreases because the momentum of the free stream, that is mass into velocity increases compared to the loss of momentum due to viscosity. So the value of friction coefficient will also reduce with the reduction of friction drag caused due to increase in value of air flow speed. We can observe this trend with the curve between friction coefficient and Reynolds number. As the velocity increases, Reynolds number also increases and the value of friction coefficient decreases like this. Now this was the curve for the laminar flow if we plot a curve for turbulent flow, then we will get a curve like this for the increased value of Reynolds number. Now here you will notice that we can get both laminar and turbulent flow for the same value of Reynolds number. But the value of skin friction coefficient will be lower for the laminar flow because we will get low rate of momentum transfer in the laminar flow. Hence, for reducing the vehicle drag, we will prefer laminar flow because it has the low value of skin friction coefficient. So this is all about boundary layer and skin friction coefficient. This much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries, you can comment in the comment box. If you find the video useful, do like it, share it. Also, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles and software, you can check on my website. The link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.